If you're a wannabe Twitch streamer like me, you know that having really good audio quality for your videos and your streams is super important, and you're probably in an environment that has a lot of background noise. Basically, long story short, there are three different noise suppression models that I think you guys can use and test out and see what's best for you. Those are one, RN Noise, which can be found as a noise suppression filter directly in OBS. There's also Speaks, but I'd recommend you guys not really use that unless you have to. Then there's also RTX Voice, which is now available on every single GeForce card. That's actually something I didn't know. I myself have an older 1660 Super, and I'm pretty sure for a while RTX Voice was only built into NVIDIA Broadcast, which you need an RTX card or higher to use but if you're on an older card you can now go to the nvidia website and straight up just download the noise suppression part of broadcast and then the final option is actually called crisp and you guys are probably actually more familiar with this noise suppression model than you think this is actually the one that discord has built right into it a few quick disclaimers before we get into the testing if you don't want to pay eight bucks a month for crisp you can probably skip over that one entirely unless you're cool with one hour of daily usage if you're on an amd card you won't be able to use rtx voice which kind of sucks if you're team red but the redeeming factor of this video is that rn noise built right into obs studio is pretty much available to absolutely everybody for free i'm not going to show you guys the installation processes for any of these i'm assuming if you're on a youtube video for noise suppression for your content you're probably you're probably tech literate enough to do a simple installation. However, links to everything will be down in the description below. And real quick, smash that like button if this video helped you out. I am freezing right now. For testing purposes, I set my AC to cool so it's constantly running and it's ice cold. Final side note, if you're curious, my microphone is the HyperX Quadcast S. Anyway, enough yapping, it's time for Uncle Iroh quotes. Even in the material world, you will find that if you look for light, you can often find it. But if you look for the dark, that's all you'll ever see. That was me button mashing. Now this is me button mashing while talking. I'm currently spamming my keys on my keyboard. Even in the material world, you will find that if you look for the light, you can often find it. But if you look for the dark, that's all you'll ever see. That was button mashing. Now this is button mashing while talking. I'm currently spamming my keyboard. Even in the material world, you will find that if you look for the light, you can often find it. But if you look for the dark, that's all you'll ever see. That was mashing my keyboard. Now this is me mashing my keyboard while I'm speaking. I'm currently spamming my keyboard. And just to give you all some context on the keyboard test, this is where my microphone is. That's about how far away my keyboard is. Don't mind my disgusting desk. So some final thoughts on those three tests right there. I just listened to them back in post. I think RN Noise and Crisp were probably the most crisp sounding, no pun intended. Crisp is probably the best medium in terms of streaming and other apps. You could use it in Audacity, Messenger, WhatsApp, a whole assortment of things. But unfortunately, you do have to pay for that one to use it for more than an hour a day. So keep that in mind. RTX voice sounded a little drowned out at times. And it wasn't great in terms of typing on your keyboard, which I'm sure is something you guys all do if you're at a PC. If you're strictly talking about streaming to Twitch or YouTube or whatever with OBS Studio, RN Noise is definitely the easiest to set up. It's a simple audio filter in OBS. If you're using Crisp AI or RTX Voice, both those softwares create virtual microphones on your PC so they're accessible in any application. Whereas with RN Noise, you can really only use it to output to your stream but not anywhere else. I haven't tested while gaming myself, but apparently if you're on a GTX and not an RTX card, RTX Voice can make you take a little bit of a performance hit while playing games which might just be something you have to test out rtx voice is also the only one where there's a slider like a setting as far as i know rn noise and crisp is just kind of automatically set for you you have no control over how strong the actual noise suppression is for my testing here i was had it set to 100 percent for example i'll tell you guys now that probably when i'm streaming i'll use rn noise but my in-game comms where i can't use that i'll probably use rtx voice so people in the lobbies on the game I choose to play won't have to hear all my shit in the background. And speaking of games, if y'all ever want to come by and hang out, ask me some questions, or just watch me play some video games, my link to my Twitch is down in the description below. That's all I got for y'all today. I need to stop yapping, bro. I'll catch y'all in the next one.